That X Factor final weekend had everything you could possibly cram in and then more. We had missing judges, returning judges, guest performances, celebrity duets, incest with Blonde Electra. We had Jung Jungle Royalty returning. We had the, the return of Katie Waisel. We had Stevie Ritchie and Chloe Jasmine having quite literally the time of their life. Uh, what more could we have given you? The X Factor Roundup. So let's start by saying a huge congratulations to Ben Haynow, uh, who obviously was crowned the winner. If you've been watching these videos from the beginning, first of all, poor you. Secondly, thank you. Thirdly, you would know that I've been championing Ben from his room audition. I, I, I really do think he's great. I think as an artist, I prefer Fleur as a pop star, but I could see Ben's potential as a winner. I can see why he's very um, favourable to people that vote, that kind of thing. And um, obviously it was surprising when the voting figures were released to see that Ben peaked, uh, topped the voting charts every week, apart from the first three, which belonged to Andrea, um, and Fleur never once did. So this is what I think gave Ben the edge over Fleur, especially in the final weekend. First up, the winner single, Something I Need by One Republic is um, much more suited to Ben's voice and much more similar to the kind of performances we've come to expect from Ben over the series. Apparently, Fleur was supposed to be doing Janet Jackson's All For You, which is an amazing song. I love that song. But Janet wouldn't give over the rights to All For You, which would have been a fantastic winner single because it's feel good, it's upbeat, um, you know, a change from big kind of inspiring ballad. Um, I think it's about sex. Also, what didn't help Fleur was doing Uptown Funk just one week after she first did it. It's a fantastic song, fantastic performance, but we'd only just seen that. Um, and also, I think Macklemore Can't Hold Us is a fantastic song, but I, I just don't really feel like it was the right choice. I don't think it worked. I think she should have done something a bit different, a bit more calm and chilled as opposed to Uptown Funk as well. Light and shade, to quote Mel B. The only thing is though, will all these people that vote for Ben buy his single, buy his album? Obviously his single's number one at the minute, but that's kind of a given when you win. But with Sam Bailey last year, did all those people that vote for it buy the album? No. Um, it still did respectably enough, but um, you know, Ben really needs all these voters to stay behind him. And I think the last time that happened with the winner was probably Little Mix back in 2011. Um, because I think the kind of the their fans on the show are also their fans outside of the show, which doesn't happen all the time. Okay, let's talk about the celebrity duet. So we had Ben up first with Ed Sheeran, who was easily the biggest star out of all of them. Don't get me wrong, Ella Henderson is incredible, and Ghost is my favorite track of the year. And also Labyrinth is one of the best producers and writers we have in the country. But Ella and Labyrinth are both on Simon's record label, and um, yes, don't get me wrong, they're both great, but neither could probably sell out the O2, let alone Ed, who has sold out the O2 several times, and Wembley Stadium. So Ben probably had an advantage there. Um, I feel like, I feel like Labyrinth introducing Fleur made her feel more like a guest performer than a contestant, which isn't a bad thing, because here's what I think. Simon, maybe, I don't know, has seen the voting figures, knew Ben is likely to win. We'd all seen it in the papers he was most likely to win. Um, so, you know what? Don't try and make Fleur the winner, just try and make her look like a proper pop star, which she did. So, I think in the long run, um, they're all going to get record deals. It's a big shame Andrea had to go on Saturday night when his mentor wasn't there. That's a big shame. I reckon Andrea will get a record deal, but he'll peak with an album that will chart quite high but drop really quickly. Sorry. I think Fleur will get a deal, but she needs the right producers. Hopefully Labyrinth will work with her again. And I want to see her do a track with Disclosure, Gorgon City. You know, go down that kind of Janet Jackson route. Someone that hasn't got the most powerful diva voice by any stretch of the imagination, but it's emotive and when she does the ballads, but also um, can dance like hell and give you more in performance than someone that's just stood still singing. I think Flirt really needs to look to Janet, but give it a 2015 dance vibe, you know? Um, I think Ben will do well because he's a winner and they need to 
keep their winners looking successful. I also am expecting Only The Young to get a record deal. I know they've got some London gigs coming up soon, so that'd be interesting to go to. I think Stereo Kicks might get a deal. Here's the deal. I reckon Fleur and Ben will get equal amounts of money put into them. I reckon Andrea will get a lot less. Only The Young will probably get more than Andrea and Stereo Kicks won't get much, but I think they will get a deal. They will get a deal, I think so. Saturday we had a greatest hits of, well, the novelty acts, that's what we can call them really. So we have Wagner, Chico, Katie Wasel, we had Stevie Ritchie returning, and I was really sad that they put Chloe Jasmine in that group in a way, because I think she's a fantastic talent. Um, she's a great character, and she's definitely got a style, not just visually, but also sonically. And um, I don't think she's a novelty act, but you know what, as much as that can be a shame, if she is a novelty act, it means her career will probably last long, she'll get more work opportunities, so more power to her. And talking about careers and publicity, that blonde Electra, those sisters, um, so on the Sunday, every year, all the finalists from that year come back, we had Jake from the jungle returning, and... Uh, you know, Sterikix is always going to be all eyes on them because there's eight of them. Only the young were very popular. Lola came back and was like, she should have stayed longer. I think longer than Lauren. And then, you know, who was really checking on Blonde Electra? No one. So what do they do? Snog. Um, obviously, it caused a lot of controversy, and I'm hoping the controversy was because they're sisters, not because they're two women. Um, you know, but fair play to them, I guess. This isn't my like official comment on inter-family relations, but they are going to be remembered now for a much longer time. They're going to get work opportunities, they're going to be on Celebrity Juice and things like that now, probably. Um, you know, so kind of fair play to them-ish, but I don't want to like make an official comment. Yeah, so it was one heck of a final weekend. Uh, get well soon to Mel B. Obviously everyone's saying I love to her and I'm glad she can make it there for the Sunday. Um, I do feel like Talisa was a little bit wooden on Saturday but I, with her comments, but you know what, I let her off because I think that's just because obviously she's not built up that rapport with the contestants um, because she's not been there every week and also at this stage of the competition in the final it's kind of just praise, they don't really critique, it's just kind of, you know, you're at the final now, well done, hats off to you. So I personally feel like they should have just had the three judges. You know, Cheryl and Louis don't have any acts, they could support Andrea, they've been there with Andrea for the past four or five months. They were at his first room audition. They've got more of a connection with him than Talisa. But I think that, yeah, I think they should have just kept it with a three. Anyway, so I guess that's our last X Factor roundup of the year. That's a shame. Um, thank you for watching. I will probably do more X Factor related videos over the next few weeks and months. Just who I want on the judges next year. What I think they should do to change the format next year those kind of things and I want to get in touch with some X Factor contestants do a where are they now type thing um, you know so that's what I want to do I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you soon that's that's a Cheryl thing isn't it Mel B oh we laugh we laugh